my sister, right? Got married. Um, mm -hmm. so my second wife. Mm -hmm. And you know how it go. I don't know how it go. You know how it go from there. All right, so what's happening? So, new Shahada, mm -hmm. um, takes his Shahada, gets married to a good brother. And then the brother wants her to dress a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, she came into this relationship wearing jeans, mm -hmm. wearing wigs. Okay. Now we got to be a bias. Yeah. What do you think about that, Tima? He ain't even finished the story, but didn't he <laughs> tell her all that before? She, she like, you know what I mean? Specifically, she said, mm -hmm. do I have to do this, that, and the third, and all? Um, he said, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good with all that. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. you can't, can't even tell him whatever. And so now it's like, well, um, this is how I want my wives to. So both of them got to look the same, like a uniform. Like. <laughs> what? They got to dress alike. Yeah, they got to dress alike. So look, so, all right, here's my question before you answer, right? Mm -hmm. So when you married her, um, you gave her a uniform? No. You ain't? Not initially. No, what was your first uniform you gave her? You told her how to, what you didn't buy a buy it for? She can answer that. No, I'm asking you. You, she, you should talk to me. Oh no. <laughs> 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 it's tricky, it's not a fight over here. You know what I'm saying? But like she you the you the boss. Right? Yeah. Y yeah, right? And so it's your job to provide for her. Alright. We're talking ahead. thick here, right? Okay. No? Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is how Islam works. Okay. Right? It's your job to provide for her and to clothe her. At least two dresses a year. Okay. At least one coat per season. Every day you must feed her at least two handfuls of rice. Bro, who the heck told you that? It's Where should I file people. a complaint then? Bro, no, I don't, I don't get, get too bad. Bad. Come on. I don't man. get this stuff. So I need to file a complaint. So where can I do that at? You gotta go <laughs> two to the handfuls of rice a year? To the shit you Big said it's saying. No, no. Hey. <laughs> I'm about to say, yo, yeah, right. That's fit. No, so alright, so when when But that alright. That would be accustomed to that particular time frame and culture. You don't think where women in our time frame, would, it would kind of be different in our type of environment yeah, where they, the, the standards of living change. You don't think so? The rules in the religion don't change. So. Yeah, I know what you saying, but where's that coming from? Where? where? That's the fit and what? And what? From where? Just you mean that's in every marriage book, you, you know? The, the, the rules of marriage, the man has to be able to pay. I know that. Right? That part I know. Okay. Okay. Food, clothes, and shelter. Clue, food, clothes, and shelter. Right? So that's basic rules. Now, my point is, where where the, where's the dress code at in that? I don't know about that, about that part. The dress code where it says that. The well, what was your dress code for her when you married her? What did he tell you? What did he tell you? He didn't tell me anything. So when before you was uh, Muslim, mm -hmm. you took your shahada. You mm -hmm. took your shahada for him, right? Kind of. Yeah? Yeah. I'm glad you kept it right. I'm what you allow for. <laughs> <laughs> so so you wanted to join him in his new his new search. Right. Right? <laughs> his new his new discovery of um, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And so then when did you say, you know what, I gotta wrap this thing up? Alright, so mm -hmm. it was it wasn't it wasn't too long into it, like Maybe like a month or so. A month or so, and yeah. then you just said, you know what? I didn't have like everything, so it was like an ease into it thing. But mm -hmm. yeah. So were you wearing jeans? At first, yes. Okay, you're not now. No. You well, never... no, I would wear a pair of jeans under a, a long under over. A... Yeah. Okay. Reason in being. Because that's what you wear. Oh well, that's what I prefer to wear. Overarm, it's something that's covering. Okay, so where you get that from? Did somebody, somebody told you that? Somebody teach you that? Or I'm just 
Well, car accidents are just supposed to dress a certain way. What's the way? Are you going to make me sit here and yeah. the whole thing? Yeah, listen, you, look, look, look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> camera? Look, so if you're, you're, you're the, you're the person here, you're, you're the designated woman. Right? I don't want this woman. People say we don't let you talk enough. So first mm-hmm. of all, I'm I'm more of a listener. So we can just get this out of the way. I listen a lot more than I talk. It's because he won't like, let you talk. He's a talker. He likes to talk. He won't allow you to talk. He does allow no, me shut to up. talk. But I'm he, saying he, he what I'm saying say is he's trying to say like I don't like I'm a authority. I'm a listener. No, no, man, no. This is a a, a a a topic for women. women. All right, so, so no, it does. It says that you have to cover. What does it say? I might not be a hundred percent right, and correct me if I'm mm-hmm. wrong. But you have to everything. Everything should be covered. The things that can be uncovered are your face, your hands, and your feet. That's in the ID. That's yeah. the ID. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. Yeah. You might as well finish it. No, the Quran and two specific parts. One is in yeah, I know it's specific Azad. places. So but you I don't know, know off the top of it's my head. It's all about the Jalba. We speak about the Jalba, and then it speaks about the Khima. Right. Like two different sources. So it's giving them like a, a, a give you a type of, I mean, idea with how they're supposed to dress. Right. Now the women, the Arab women at the time they used to before that ayah came down, it came down during the sixth year of the Hijrah. Right, they call it the verses of hijab. They used to wear the kimar back, like over their back, and they used to drape down. And a lot of the eyes had tell the women to draw the kimars over that right, bosom. Yeah. So they had to pull them around to cover this part. Mm-hmm. Right, and then the, the the other sword came down with the jilbab. A lot of times, people like to focus on that, not realizing that 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 came down the sixth year of the hijrah. So that that was later. It wasn't like initially. When the Quran was being sent down, like that was like the first thing to be applied. Like, you got to put. So can you imagine they was walking around with their chemo, uh, uh like push back, push like, back, yeah, like it drapes back. Yeah. And then they had these. And if I think somebody's coming over book. and I'm in the house and I'm dressed, I'm not. I'll push it back until they come, so I can cover it. Just pull it close when they come. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. So. That's the that's the, the the reasoning in the Quran. I mean, not the reason. That's what it says in the Quran, mm-hmm. right? So, in what part, like, so you you're comfortable with jeans and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And other, what aren't you comfortable? With? What are you talking about? For me personally? Yeah. I don't know. I I it has to come. You see, this is a bit shorter today. At least cover my knees for a, a shirt, but this is where I rarely wear shirts like this okay. outside. And were you forced to do this? No, I'm not forced to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. all right, all right. So, why I'm asking is because there's always people who, like, when they ask, like, like women they ask, they ask questions about, or you hear people use the term garbed up, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> but they say, yeah, you know, she came out of her garb or she put her garb on to. So, what what the garb, like, <laughs> the rule for garb is my point. I don't know what the rule for garb is. So, what's oh, the garb? Yeah. I, get I, don't, I don't understand the question. I need you to be more specific. It's not garb. See, that is, it's the jilbab, khimar, and hijab. Those are the three things that's mentioned in the Quran. I mean, but what I'm saying is, so, People, sisters, they they they, they take their shot right, and then they assume that because they are now Muslim, then now I have to wear yeah right Umar, Jibad, Abayas, and the point I'm making is there's a way that you can wear because hijab actually means the cover right mm-hmm. yeah so no covering no why not? He, hijab. In our times, they use hijab as a slang to mean that a woman is fully covered. But hijab is just a partition of between the male and the female. Yeah, well, that's that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay, so so hijab meaning a partition. Now, if what what is the actual requirement? If it's a requirement, 
Kimar and Abaya. Yeah, not Abaya, the Jilbab. The Jilbab is from the shoulders down to right above, a little bit slightly above the ankle. Okay, so now if a woman has on a hoodie and some pants and a coat, mm -hmm. is she covered? Technically, she is covered. Those parts are covered. But, right. but some... You're going to hell if you don't. If you nah, don't, I, don't, don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Only a lot of people can decide who right. goes to hell or to hell. So who, who's who's not covered properly? Well, that's the thing. What is properly? According I mean, to the rules of the religion. Mm -hmm. Somebody can say that, though. They're like, listen, you're not covered properly according to the, the Quran. They can say, according to the man... Commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're not properly covered. Because the Khimar, it, it's clear. I mean, I don't even see how it's, people just don't get it. Like the Khimar tell you, like the bosom area, where to cover, and the Jilbab tell you where to cover too. So it's like, are you not understanding what the eyes are saying or something? Well, no, no, I'm saying, no, no, you missed my point. Somebody could have on a tunic. No, listen, uh, clothing that covers your bosom. It covers down to this part, to your knees, or whatever. If everything down to your ankles covered, everything to your hand is covered, are you still properly dressed? Yeah, you are dressed. You're okay, so covered, but okay, hear me out. So you mean to tell me a woman in a cat suit that has all of that? Covered? Yeah, that's why I'm about. To, she said what I was about to say again. Because they got yeah. cat suits. They got long sleeves. They go all the way to your ankle. Yeah. But that joint is tight fit. Well, here's the thing. Now, now I asked Amin about that one time. Yeah. He said that um, he was in the Shafi school, technically. Uh, don't quote me on this. But what he said was that it wasn't like uh, specific about how tight it should how be. How tight. Mm -hmm. but, as long as you cover. That's yeah. that's what most people you say. You can't see my skin. As long so as you good, cover. Right? Yeah. Right. No, but here's, here's where I'm going with this question. Right? Mm. So, all right. Like I said, back to original point. You new shot You 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 the woman dresses like this, right? She might not have one on a body, might not have one, you know, whatever other women wear, right? Or even in the same colors other women wear. So where do niggas get off telling them, no, you have to wear this? Mm-hmm. It's it's just all it's part of you not knowing. Like first of all, you're new, so anybody can tell you. Yeah. Almost that would get caught up in that. Yeah. And you won't, you won't know, cause you don't, you're still learning. So he can tell you, you've got to wear this, and you have to wear this, and it has to be this length, and you got to cover all of this. And he could do whatever, and you don't know, cause you're learning. How you gonna know that you don't necessarily have to? Okay, now for the iman. I'm not the iman, man. <laughs> no, call me the imam. in this barbershop, the iman. No, Listen, not. No, when you we know just as much as I know, don't you no more. Anyway, so if we've covered the, the, the clothing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, brothers marrying women, mm -hmm. and then they're saying, yo, you can't work. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't want you to. Is there a ruling in that? Say that I'm you asking you, the man. You know, it, it, he. I don't want you to work. The thing is, like, oh, gosh, with that one. Because cause people be too technical. So say, can he say she don't have to work? If he could provide those things, he can say those things. Do she have to act on it? That's another thing. Because a woman can't work. No, but does she have to, like, all right, brothers telling women, I don't want you I to know. work. I know. Does she have to listen to that? I don't know the answer to that one. See? Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> Do she have to? I mean, all right. You she's know, supposed to listen to her husband if that. he's providing the things. Okay, like, now, so, all right, so next question. So, if if brothers are telling women, I don't want you to work, but then they don't work or they don't provide, nah. they don't make enough. Now what? So you just want us to sit in here and work? Yes. No. Niggas be doing I know, it. It. I know what he's saying time. is true. It's somebody I know that actually got two wives and they both get welfare. He takes the welfare checks 
and divided up among them two. This young is a clown, man. He's a clown. <coughs> yeah, no. That's a bum. Okay, so is that legal? No, man, because first of all, us as Muslims, we're not supposed to be living off the government assistance. We're supposed to be men. We're supposed to be working and providing. That's assistance coming mm -hmm. in. That's something for like an elderly person. It wouldn't be necessitated for a male because if you physical or able, you should be working. You should be getting money to provide for you. Sometimes it's hard. Some people need assistance. No, you get assistance, is no problem. But all right, so then the, the question comes if you're getting government assistance, should you be able to have a wife? Well, not just, not alone two wives. Right? No, not, no, alone, no. not alone, not even to have multiple. Just one. Should well, you be able to question. have a wife if you're getting assistance from the government? You're not providing. The government is providing. I am providing. The government is giving it to me and I'm giving it to them. <laughs> He's divvying it up. Right. I'm providing. Now that's different for him to take from them and to divvy that out. That's yeah. Different. Is he getting his own welfare? It, no. He's getting, the, the, the dude is getting their welfare. That's their, technically, CJ, Bob, yeah. that's their money. Wow. That's different. Yeah, because. Sorry, what are you doing with your mouth? Nothing. Yes, you are. Shut up, I told you I'm going to get that I know, thing but why are you just it's a, it? It gave me a, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh. But you keep messing with it. I, can I know, it. I know. Because it's nagging. Okay. Y'all are fucking okay. funny, man. Sorry. <laughs> I, I told you what I said. I told you I said, yeah, she's gonna keep keep until you like <laughs> she got OCD. I'm telling you. I don't you. have OCD, but you keep like chewing at the side of your mouth. Cause it's it's bothering me. Okay. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. It's all good. It's cool. Alright, so <laughs> alright, so alright, I have to tell If 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 let's say hard Hard times fall on her, right? Yeah. She's going to work. No. <laughs> but she already does work, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. <laughs> what, what, so, what, 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 would you keep rocking with him if there was no advancement in the marriage? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. No yeah. advancement? But what do you mean by no advancement? All right. he's, not, what, he's not bringing in anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would. You would just keep rocking? this way for a long time. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about this is what you got now. I'm talking about from the beginning. Y'all get married, and then, you know, he ain't bringing nothing to the table. Now, that's different. You gonna keep rocking? It's like a you, new, fresh relationship, mm -hmm. and we just got we just got together, and we trying to build together, and you're not bringing absolutely nothing, and you're not No, we're just going to live minimally Bare because minimum. we want to get assistance. No. No. No? Mm -mm. What do you got to do? We're not doing this all, all no. my whole life. So We're not then, doing this my whole life. All right, now no. here's my question, because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Not just you speak for all women, but you know, you know your species, right? <laughs> 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 Why do these chicks keep marrying these niggas? I, don't, oh, I yeah. honestly don't know. Especially if that's not something you want for you and you know this is not what I want. Why would you even keep dealing with the same type of people? What's the use? What do you I know multiple about? women. Not multiple. That's like all more than multiple. Them. Yeah. They they're married to Bums. bums. Yeah, all kinds bums. of bums. All kinds of bums. Bums. And, and you know, on welfare, not getting welfare. Like, it's it's bums, man. Yeah. Like, straight bum. Niggas. That's all it is. And then they keep marrying them. Yeah. Now, they yeah, are, their they claim is that it's not a like, good selection. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say, there's not a lot of brothers available, but what what is the thinking the rationale. Because some people be like, I'd rather be with him than to be alone. Uh, yeah. Uh, They're like, I'd rather be with that dude than to be alone. So is that the mindset that goes into women that marry brothers in prison? I don't know. You got to know. I you're don't the, know. You're the only woman here. I don't know. People that are just so married odd. to somebody in jail. I, I find that odd. I don't get that. How the heck is you? How is that a relationship? I don't know. Or, or not even this in jail, the guy that just comes home from jail. Well, that's a different. Maybe he's trying to change and. Okay, no, but he's trying to change. But. Oh, oh, oh. Let's say he comes home from prison. Mm -hmm. 
oh, or you was, you was old. Then, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong because there's, there's a lot of good brothers that come home and they need a little help getting on yeah. their feet and stuff, and that's right. cool. But how long do you, do women be? I don't be understanding what they be thinking is going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, or because I, I I know a brother, a good brother that he came home, he married his sister, and then she started complaining. Oh, you're not doing this, and it's like, yo, this nigga just thing. came home. Yeah, that's where I'm. Like, what do you want him to come out and just? Yeah, yeah, first of all, he got a charge. It's gonna be harder for him. Right, he has to get a job. Mm-hmm. He gotta find something. Then you know, not to say he might not get nothing that's what you think yeah, you're doing. You, right. But it's a stepping stone. You got if you want to be with him, you have to work it out. You have to let him grow. Mm-hmm. You can't just expect it to happen in two months after he done that. He just got out. <clears throat> yeah, I think some of them be used. Like some of them was with dudes that were not all of them. It was with a dude that was getting money. Right. So they expect when he the guy get out, he's going to get he's bounced get right back to, back to yeah. getting the money that he used to get. Or he's sitting on a stash somewhere yeah. or something like that. That's not always the case. So it's like, all right, he's going to take care of me and that type of stuff. So it's like. And then yeah. is that what you want him to get back into? Yeah. Some of them are used to that. They like it. <laughs> so he can go right back? Like, when do you want, what do you, you got to do something different to get different results. That's crazy. So, it, it is weird. And now it, 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 it that's weird, see ya. And now I don't get it either. Like how they be doing that? Like it's a dude that's out here that's working and it'll be a good dude for you. And I don't want to have compatible though. Hmm? We might not it might not work. We might not be the same person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because he's a good dude don't mean we're gonna get along with each other. I mean, you're right. I mean, so my 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 whole thing is there's not. Oh well, the sister. Remember the sister was here last time, Lisa, right? Mm. She actually sent me some data. And she said that there are that it's not true that there's more women than men. <laughs> it's actually there's more men or just almost an equal amount. That's some kind of survey she sent me. But the question that I had, I said that proves my point then. Why all these chicks want the same man? Yeah, if it's, yeah, equal, yeah. If it's close to being equal, mm-hmm. why y'all keep that selecting those? Why yeah. don't you go find yours? Because yeah, they don't want no corny niggas. That's, what they, that's, that's mm-hmm. it too. Yeah. But that's based on the environment you come from because if that's all you see, this is the type of guy you're going to be looking for a majority of the time. Same thing with us. When, when, you know, when you growing up, you thought that drug dealer was the dude. You know like, that? Yeah, I used to think that. I was like, man, that's the dude. You wanted to sell drugs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah. No. So you like good at it? He doesn't do it. I ain't do it long. I I ain't do it long. But it's like that's who you look up to, so it's like those that got the 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 D boys. So you like that's who they look for, those type of guys. Because that's the type of environment. Stuff like that. And then we come from like broken homes, so it ain't that many to the fatherless homes issue, so they ain't really got like a father figure to look for in a, in a type of guy, so it's like I don't really know what type of guy to look for, but I know that guy look he look pretty cool and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't got nothing, so this guy offering me money, so I'm gonna go with that guy. And then when you get two guys like that, you like I'm gonna try to find I get used to it. So I'm gonna try to find a guy that's similar to that. It could be that where it's a habit like that. But they just don't know. That's why I believe what you said about seeking therapy and stuff like that. Because it got to be something in the mind, man. Where it's like you keep choosing these type of guy. So, Bart, so then, so the guy that 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 gets the woman and he's living off of her or off the welfare or whatever it is, right? And then he got rules for it too, right? That's impressive, right? Yeah, some people would say that's impressive. That's what I think. Yeah. Like I was listening to this story. I, all, I bring all this up because I was I, I listened to a few stories this week from people. people really? Call, yeah, like they call them. Like now, nah, people ask for advice and stuff, and then the whole time I'm listening to shit, I'm just like, the fuck, man. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You ain't not. I, I hear it all the time. So yeah, I, I I'm surprised you don't hear it here, but it's mostly. Nah, I hear it a lot. I was about to say, yeah, you too. But but in your mind, you're like, man, that dude a bum. But he, he, now here's the thing. Now, as a man, 
because it's man corn, right? So I I don't ever feel comfortable just telling somebody, yeah, like yo, leave your man. Yeah, right. I I wouldn't say that because I don't want nobody to think I'm hating on the dude, especially the woman. And now here's the thing: you tell the woman, yo, you should leave that nigga alone, and then. When she don't leave him alone, and she go back and tell to yeah. him, now he's walking around like, yeah, you told him why you leave Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know the reason why. Yeah, but I, so I don't like doing that. But then, in some cases, when, like, if there's a situation where somebody ain't really taking care of their kid, or, well, you know, you abusive or something, that's a clear. But, all right, so that, that brings up another question. This is the stuff I was thinking about. When it, When is it okay Besides it being abuse, as a man, for you to tell a woman, when do you feel comfortable telling a woman to leave a dude alone? I never told him. It's outside of abuse. You've ne- so all the people that ask you for advice, you've never nah. advised somebody, yo, man, you need to leave that. Nah, because it was never an issue. Th- that issue was never brought up with abuse or. No, I said outside of abuse. Like, see, it's, so if a woman come to me, like, let's say it's my sister, my, my cousin or something, and she come to me, and she tell me that her boyfriend or husband's beating on or something, that's clear. I see not leaving alone. Yeah, that's But right. if, if, if there's not abuse, not physical abuse, and, you know, they tell you something's going on, when, have you ever had, been in a time where you had to say, nah, I think you should just leave that alone? Nah, it never was that bad. You always tell people to work out? Yeah, I usually try to tell him work it out. All right, so next question. I tell him go talk to the imam or marriage council or something, and they look up because it's never nobody local. Because local people ain't gonna tell me nothing because I don't want me in their business. It's usually always somebody inbox from a different state or something like that. Well, no, I get that, but I, what I'm saying is, I, I don't mean people outside. Let's say it's somebody personal, right? Like, and that's for both of y'all. If if somebody comes. And what's, let's say it was me and my wife, and, and we just coming to you, and let's say my wife is telling you, yo, this nigga sees you, he don't pay for nothing, he don't do this, he don't do that. What, like, when would you feel comfortable enough to say, you know what, I think you should be seated alone? Mm. I wouldn't. <laughs> you would just tell him to work it out? No, I'm, I'm, I'm on welfare, like, I might taking her welfare checks. Work it out, but I might talk to her and tell her, like, listen, you need to figure out what you need and what you want out of life and if you can get it with them. That's not saying leave them. That's saying <laughs> fix your life. Get yourself together. Figure out what you want. And if it includes them, okay, so great. And if, if it don't, then you need to But all right, but so let's let's say mm-hmm. let's say the sister comes to you and um <laughs> she's getting oppressed. Right? Mm-hmm. She can't work. She can't dress mm-hmm. herself. She can't go outside. Well, that's the type. Now, so, so my wife is coming to you. She says all this stuff about me. And when do you say, yo, or or as a man, even better, when, especially if you know me, when do you say, yo, leave that nigga alone? You should leave. You should get the divorce. Or you should, or, like, when, when is it? If he ain't. If somebody comes to you with that kind of stuff, that's borderline abuse. Yeah. yeah, that's on pressure. What she says, like, yo, you gotta get out of that man, right? Because he he not fulfilling your rights. Her rights ain't being fulfilled, so he's violating what rights. He's not providing her rights. You didn't tell her she he's told her he's not providing her rights. Right, he's not he's not providing no, her rights. You didn't tell her she he told her she can't work, but she, I mean, I mean, it is kind of her right to work. But if he's yeah. providing, if he said he's providing, no, 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 no really, neglecting. That's neglect. Well, no, it's not neglect. It's, it's this. It, no. All right. To me, neglect is when, let's say, you just I stop. work every day. Mm-hmm. I and work every day. Provide. I got it. And I just ain't feeding you. Okay. And you can't work and you can't, you know, nah, you ain't getting shit. Like, that's neglect. Okay. Now, if I just don't got it, and I ain't trying to get it, and I ain't letting you get then it. Then you are kind of neglecting me. You're not even attempting to try to get yeah, it. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Well, okay. man, what kind of sick? Sick man is doing that. <laughs> no, see, all right. No, this is. I ain't talking about one person. This is. I've seen this happen with multiple people. Right? But all right, what's it? Well, he got some type of insecurities. Yeah, That's why I was going. Work. Like I, a no, lot of dudes didn't just. This is my opinion. Like I have, I have friends. Of, well, not friends. You gotta be insecure to there, tell a woman that she can't. There, there's, 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 there's brothers I know that are like that. I don't want my wife. 
to do to work. I don't want her to come out of the house. I want her to ask me for everything. Now, well, to me, you're a control freak. It, no, I know a lot of men that are control freaks. Me personally, I be, I always have thought that's very insecure. Like I, I don't have the need with any woman. Like I don't check no woman's phone. I don't check her browsing history. Like some shit to me is just. That's you know, a creep. If she's going to do it, she's going to do it. But there's a lot of men that do that shit. Like, a lot. There's a lot of men. Yo, I've had men that have come in here and told me or tried to tell me how I was going to cut their woman's hair. Not a lot, but it's been a few times. And then there was one brother, he came, and, why, and this they not even married. This is his girlfriend. And he's standing over. Why? And I said, bro, you can have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you straight up have a seat. And... and Keith right. is over there yeah. laughing. Right there. There's a lot it's of niggas like this. It's insecure. I, no I, I think so too. Explain it. I think so That's too. That's all insecure. Even with the checking the brow, the brows in history. Come on now. Bro, I, I don't. I, Running through somebody's phone and looking at their messages. I don't do that with my kids. But, you know, like that's. Everybody got their right. You know what I mean? But, but to me, I just. Like, when people come to me, they ask you for advice, and then in my head, I'm like, yo, you just need to leave that shit alone. But then at the, on the other hand, I know it ain't a lot of dudes out here. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, nine times out of ten, people get back together. They break up. That's why sometimes... Yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's why I be telling, yo, man, they'll be like, they'll lash out, argue, police get called. and they'll be right back together the next, next week or something. The next mm-hmm. day. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like they'll kick him up, kick up, kick the guy out too. And he'd be right back. Right. That's why it's like, yo, what's the point? And then you don't get the whole story. Sometimes you get these half stories. She never tell the full story, and he 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 tell half of the story. And then you gotta figure it out on your own, like which one is telling the truth. <laughs> it's, it's like that. It, it's that. What you said though, man. That's crazy for men to be doing that type of stuff. It's men that do the, they do the. the oh, well, most it's a lot of niggas, mm-hmm. a lot of them to do that, and that. That's, but she gonna cheat if you <clears throat> if you feel like she gonna cheat. You know, like we are these like them just naturally like that. She or they just like I got a reason because I got assumptions no, that she's cheating. No, this dudes is just naturally control freaks like. What's wrong with these dudes, man? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, you know, but that that always goes back to my point of, you know, that's why women, I think women should be a little bit more realistic about What's what the options are because you you have, this is, these are the men that you have to choose from. And I'm not saying I'm better than them, but, you know, there's certain things I just, like, I don't have no friends. I don't keep friends with that don't take care of their kids. I don't keep friends that. I was you know, asking my co woman. She's a. She, I said, because she was saying that, like, she can't find no good man. So I said, how about you uh, uh, try for Lebanon? Right? Know, she's yeah. not Muslim. She's not Muslim. No, she said that it's getting so bad that she might have to consider that. Now, all right, real talk. The problem that I have with polygamy. In the way that people that aren't Muslim do it, <laughs> is they don't be having no rules. To it. Yeah, you know that's the only thing. Like, yeah. not, not, there's no structure. Basically. There's no yeah. structure. Their shit, it be niggas that just be like swingers, man. Yeah, it be swingers. Yeah, and that's what my, yeah. If that's what people's into, that's what now. But like, I know dudes that that their their reason for wanting to have wives and shit is because they want to have threesomes and they want to. Yeah. I don't know about that. You know what's funny? Me personally, I tell people this, they think I'm weird, but even if we were allowed to have three sons, I don't think I would do it. Because when you, women have smells and you try to mix them together and shit, and that's the people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what you're going to get. And that's why, like, it might look attractive <laughs> in a movie or something, but once you really, I don't know. Now, I asked my friends that have done that stuff, and I was like, yo, how? You do it, but then some of them niggas is real Viking niggas anyway. They don't be giving a fuck about mm-hmm. you. Let me tell you. But, but <laughs> a lot of the people 
that I know they do the polygamy thing. It's not Muslim. They they all like you said they swingers and yeah they do stuff know, like that. Now, because, and that's oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that's, <laughs> stuff like that is like when your knobs really got took over. Like you don't have no control of your knobs now. It's just all about the uh, sexual pleasures. Like, you don't have no control no more. Cause with the swingers joint. It's like, dang, yo, you willing to go that way? You want to swap my wife? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I got this. It's crazy, crazy, man. That's sad, though. So you so you told this woman to go swim, basically. No, I just took, no, I ain't say swim. <laughs> you told her to go be a police. No, I was talking about a Muslim. But she's not Muslim. Nah, bro, I told her, like. It, to marry a Muslim? Yeah. Say, and then, but, sorry, so she married the, the, the Muslim brother. The one that's taking all the welfare from yeah, you. Yeah, he's going to take a welfare and slap a body order. But the thing... <laughs> Nail it, man. Give me your welfare and I'll tell y'all what y'all need. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. So, all right, so now... So, we, the thing is, like, all right, with that, is like, all right, you know what type of dudes I said. Because you talk to guys more than I do, CJ, based on the people that come in here. So, would the ladies be right in their assumptions about men? Mm. About, like, there's not too many people out there that's like... Kind of. I hate to say women's right, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they be right. Like, it's, it's a, um... Because I'm pretty sure you said, hey, you probably in your mind, like, this nigga is nasty, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of them. Like, all right. I, I got a friend of mine, well, two friends of mine, I was, they was dating, and, um, damn, um, man, how do I say this, I don't want nobody to get mad, but, <laughs> they were dating for years, right, my man was married, and he was dealing with this other girl, right, and so, in, instead of just coming out and telling his wife and the other girl, then I must but instead of just saying, hey, it's just y'all two, and that's just what it's going to be, he would go back to one and, you know, nah, nah I'm going to leave my wife, I'm going to leave my wife. And he'd go back to the wife, no, no, it's over, and just back, oh, back, back, back and forth. Back. And then would come and talk to me about it, and I'd just be like, bro, why don't you just sit them both down? It is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, you're going to hear some complaining, but they ain't going nowhere. I be saying that too. Yeah, and then I say that all the time. You know, because he he didn't do that and just kept getting out. Now he don't got me one of them. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All you liars and blah blah blah. Yeah, that's key with that key. Like, if you gonna do something, tell me. Yeah. (laughs) I just just go through it. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Some some niggas don't got the balls to you know. Me, I I, sometimes I my balls are way too big. I had to learn to stop doing it because I was just like, hey, yeah, just, you going to accept this shit. Like, <laughs> but, nah, man, like, I don't know, man. Like, like when, 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 when like, I, I got an issue now, like, where my sister, I got a little sister, um, mm-hmm. and she's in her 30s and real pretty, got a lot going for her, and she can't find nobody. And I be What's trying it? to, I be trying, I be like, she's like, yeah, let me come with your friends. I'm like, you don't want none of my friends. Not even now. Like, most, most of my friends is married already. That's, you know what I'm saying? But that's the, what I said to yeah. you last time when we said is that, not last time, but when we were talking about that, is that they always say, where are the good men? They marry. Yeah. Yeah. Most men, the good guys that they talk about, a guy making like 120 something thousand a year, these men that they looking for, as far as financial wise, mm-hmm. they married already. Or, or, real shit, here, here go, I know good dudes, like, the good Muslim brother right here next to me, Keith. Yeah. He ain't trying to get married. No. Nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's 30. Especially, yeah, especially he's in his 30s. He don't got no kids. He got money. I don't say he got money, but he make money. Like, you know. And, and uh, look what. Look, him here and all these people talk about their marriage. You think that's going to make it any better? Mm-hmm. No, it's going to make it worse. That, that, all that's going to have a psychological effect on him. Well, I don't want them to have Yeah, like, I don't want. No, thank you. Because nobody talks about the successful parts of marriage. It's always the negative parts. Yeah. So that's all we absorb in our community. Well, yeah. listen, I don't even think it's... It, 
it ain't even just the negative part. Like it's is you 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 people want it for the title too. CJ, they just want to say that I'm America because it's like a fad with that. No, no, it's not that it's a fad. It well, I, you know what it is. In our society, everything's backwards, right? So we don't we don't get married first, like we should do. Like in the same, you know, like people always say, "Oh, the Muslims don't get married and divorce so fast," but yeah, but, but in th this culture, we made it normal to, all right, you go out on a date, you fuck around, now you become somebody's girlfriend or their boyfriend, mm -hmm. and now it's like. One day we're gonna settle down. We're gonna settle down. We're gonna make me an honest woman. We're... And then now, when you finally get to that point, like that's a goal for for women, mm -hmm. like um, and for men sometimes. But that's a goal. Like, oh, he he made me his wife. He thinks I'm special. And 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 for some men, they treat it that way. So maybe that's why women think that. But mm -hmm. like I would tell women, I, I don't look at it like that at all. Like I mean, to me, you know. I mean, I people get mad. I see this shit, but if you, you, if I marry you, I can marry you, and I think you're the greatest woman on the earth. Or I can marry you and think like, oh, this is a casual relationship when we marry. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, they don't see marriage the way that a law sees it. You know what I'm saying? Or the way like they think that it's all one cookie cutter thing, and that's why mm -hmm. it looks like a fad. Like it looks yeah. like mm -hmm. this is something that's unreachable because many women don't actually get to it. So, man, I don't like this idea that people think when they get into marriage, it's supposed to be this old go happy type of living. Yeah. That's not how it is, man. It's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times when you agree and when you disagree. But, dang, man, y'all don't even try to work it out. Y'all be ready to leave as soon as y'all get into your first little argument or disagreement. Y'all don't even try to don't just be the first. But the, the, the thing is, it, there's a difference between... Some people have valid reasons, but then they'll listen to that advice and they think that what, what happens, they apply the advice wrong. Mm -hmm. So you'll hear, so take one person, that advice is true. Yo, man, y'all arguing over petty stuff. You should be patient and work it out. But then there's this other group. You the girl that's getting your welfare taken. <laughs> you know I mean? And you hear that advice and you're like, yo, you know, I should tough it out. No, you leave. Well, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you that's, you should leave. But that's 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 based on like for instance, like you know the situation. Whereas though I don't have the full <laughs> details of the situation. So she should never come to me. She should come to you be, and get get, get uh, uh advice from. Not not a stranger that's not familiar with the relationship. Well and some people That'll go from you to me, all the way to the imam until they find an answer that they, satisfies them. They want to hear, yeah. They, yeah. Get the advice they, they want always hear. do that. Mm -hmm. That that going behind the imam's back after he done told you the advice, which you should. I mean, you should initially follow what he said. Well, most well, most imams, well, the smart ones I know, they they usually say, "Yo, I'm not a marriage counselor." That's the best thing to say to somebody. It's like go see a marriage counselor. That's not my profession. But then, all right, now if you a new Muslim and you don't you don't know nothing about therapy and all that stuff, then you looking at it like, well, nigga, what did you here for? Like, <laughs> so you got to remember too, people, especially yeah. new shot, like we in our communities, we look at the imam as <laughs> like the all thing. around. No, but that's how it is in the black church. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, when, oh, yeah, like yeah, when, yeah. We, when we was in, in coming from church, yeah, you right. The imam served all those purposes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now you might go in other communities, say like in in, in some of the foreign uh, Muslims communities, and they it might not be like that for them. They just look at the imam like, yo, he need the prayer. That's it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he, yo, he teach grand school. He need the prayer. Mm -hmm. He doing marriage if he needed. But you know, we don't go to no counseling. We don't go there for no mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. But in, in in our community, we we treat them like the pastor. So, you know, and then non-Muslims and stuff, they look at it that way too. Like, yo, why don't you go talk to E man? Yeah, a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. e like, like a new child, like you said, that's different. Because usually we could, you know, like us, because we've been in it for so long, we could detect. Like, man, we know what this guy's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> They said it's the same song, so you like I already know what he's trying to do. This is the best advice I can give you. I don't know, man. Like it, 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 
it's sad. Especially but new shahadas get ripped. All right, so new shahadas get trash. All right, so what what's what's your plan for your daughters? Oh. That's the thing, you know. I, 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 I I've been that joint been bothering that. Like what what See is that? our options here? We that been bothering that kind of. You're gonna to have to go to Arkansas like you said. No. <laughs> you know it's crazy because we usually use the us as most of them we usually marry into families. Mm. But man, some of these families is weirdos. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> like, I'm telling the truth. You like bro, right. it's true. You really think you your 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 family I don't even be part of that family. No, you weren't. But yeah, it's like slim pickings. So, we don't so, have a plan. No plan. Yeah, we no. don't. Actually. How how old is your oldest daughter? Seventeen. She just turned seventeen. Yeah, you better come up with a plan. I don't have That's like you asking right, right. Like wait. She got a plan. Oh. She do? What's up? She she gonna uh convert the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what you gotta do because what I'm That's the most the women say. Yeah, that, like, that, that, yeah, they say I seen that happen. And I'm just going to convert him to Islam. The girl told the dude, she said, she was a Pakistani. He was black, which is rare. She was like, look, I'm not marrying you in two years after Islam. That joke is saying Shahad is the same day. <laughs> so, but now. But he doing good now. He learned and everything. He doing good. But my, 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 my thing with them sisters be like, so then when you marry the dude, you can't go to your man and complain about him because. You don't know nothing. You don't know shit. Yeah, you, didn't, you knew you didn't know nothing when you married him. But they, they feel like that. Like, that's their only option now. For some, they feel like that. Because they can't get a Muslim man unless he's like this, the bum. <laughs> so I'll try my options with the other one. With the non Muslim. It's, it's some good dudes, man. It's, it's some real good dudes. Out, but it's just, you know, I tell people, man, like, if. if if I'm if I'm Keith and I'm 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 33, 34, I don't got no kids. I'll be living my best life. I'm living my best life. <laughs> why why I wanna marry some girl with some baggage, man? Like Yeah, they don't like, be getting that, you man. Know, and, and real shit. They, 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 they even if you're not Keith. The kind of <laughs> argument like what you don't have baggage. That's I mean, it's, it's, it's a tit for tat with all this stuff. They'll come back and say, like, you act like you don't have baggage. No, no, there's there's a lot of women that don't that don't have all that baggage. There's, there's some, you know what I mean. And and now the new thing is what you bring to the table. Oh. Now that's a new thing. You don't even have a table. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about bringing oh, out to the table? <laughs> that ain't a new thing though. That that's that's. But no, it's like gaining momentum. <clears throat> it's like oh my gosh, right? And then you got the ones that's like I make over. <laughs> this is funny. I make over eighty thousand a year. I should get this type of guy to match my pay and make more. Like I know you. You ain't make eighty thousand like two years ago. <laughs> what do they have to do with that? No, I'm just saying. I'm getting eighty thousand now, so I want somebody that's up there with me. What? Who that was? That's my that's my criteria. I wouldn't marry no girl that don't make that. Don't make that close to what you get. Not not. I don't don't gotta make what I make, but. I need some. I need a woman to put some numbers on. Bro, you need a woman at work. Hell yeah. So you, Hell you don't. Yeah. What did she tell you? I don't want to work. You I don't want to marry you. Now look, I, I, I had. <laughs> this, look, this you, ain't for you. Look, I'm gonna tell you. Me, 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 me and my lady got an argument, right? Because she was giving me this hypothetical, right? And she said, Oh God. She gave me time. Well, what if you met a younger sister, and she didn't want to work, and it's your job to provide for her. You wouldn't marry her? I mean, what, what, you would provide for her, right? I said, no. And she said, why not? I said, I wouldn't marry her. Okay. And she's, well, why not? I said, I'm not obligated to marry I have a choice in who I want to marry. I don't want to marry a girl that don't work. Then Sorry, like I don't she, want that. You're going to be like Shuei. And then I didn't see anything wrong with what Shuei said. Like, I don't I don't see, like, Shuei, remember he was saying that yeah. she, she, she wanted him to work and pay everything. No, and but her money is her. And money. her money was hers. Yeah. Now, here's the thing: she has the right to want. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. She's gonna exercise her right. But guess what? He can exercise his right. Sorry. I can exercise her right to not be married to one of them chicks. It works both ways. Like, all right, cool. You wanna, you wanna do is gonna pay you an exorbitant 
uh, dowry you want to do that's going to let you keep all your money to yourself. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm going to let you keep all your money to yourself. I just want you to have some money. Yeah, that's all. They I want you to have some money. You can stay out of my pocket. That's, <laughs> that's my thing. But at the end of the day, no, nah, I'm not interested. Like, you, you know what's crazy? Because men, I could go get me a young girl. Like, easy. I can go yeah. get a real young, fine joint. But, what? I mean, this sounds crazy, but what good is she outside of sex? And I'm not paying for sex. So it's like, I'm not just, you know, I don't want more kids. And that's all I was telling my girl. I said, yo, I don't know. I don't want to do that. Like, I'd rather, I, I, I'd rather be. You'd rather be somebody that's established. That, that's established and, yeah. and, and, and has something that want, like, she that's has a, lady. a goal and wants to work towards something with mm-hmm. her. Yeah, that's a That's lady. what I personally want. Now, there may be a young, another dude. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll remember, do all of Yeah, things. I remember Quincy yeah. Jones said, Quincy Jones said, he said, I never married, I n- never be with a woman that's more than half, uh, Who's more than half my age? So at at at, at ninety, he's ninety years old. His cutoff is forty five. <laughs> <laughs> he got a thirty five. He's pushing it. <laughs> he said, "I don't want no one that's more than that," and I don't blame him. But and for him, he got the money to take care yeah, of. He could do that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't have that kind of money. Like I want to, I want to make money. And we make money together, and we stack and build. Like, but that's, that's when they be like, "Well, what? Uh, when you when you at the sit down, or whatever, you express all those things, then that get them a better idea." Because then I'll be like, "All right, he can't do these things." Because the man be he'll he'll some will tell you like, "Listen, this is what I got. I can't do this. Can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this." Are you with it or not? Yeah. Got a lot of can't you out there. <laughs> I can't do this. Who who came up with the sit down? Where'd that come from? What the work? I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean you mean, you know. Not, no, you know, I don't. I don't know where that came from. I actually don't. I always wondered it. Like, is I never? And then you, no, it, it's that. It, it's I think that came in because of, uh, uh, people was just jumping into marriages and they they was just when they fell the next day or whatever mm-hmm. they just blamed their mom. So their mom was their mom was like, listen. Y'all gotta go through these steps. Y'all gotta do this and this and this. So, cause some marriages now they got criteria. You can't even get married now unless you get the uh, that's good legal paper. That's good. Cause they said they got tired. Talk with do that. They said they got tired yeah. of people yeah. just uh, divorcing. So they like, nah, you gotta get legally married now. We're not going through this. No, I, I actually think that's good. Cause, you know, but then that that cuts off brothers the one. You know. They, what you, how do you get a multiple? You don't get one. This next year. <laughs> yeah, that's what that because saying. I can't that, legally yeah, marry all, all of them, them so that that, like, you, can't, you can't you can't get one of them. Yeah. But that's my right. You take away my right. Yeah, we took away. <laughs> They're like, we don't do that no more. I asked a lot of the uh uh some of the uh foreigners do they still practice that? It's like in our country that's dying out. Mm-hmm. Like the multiple marriage? Mm-hmm. No, nope. they said that's that's starting to die out. <laughs> The, it, it's different with their their culture and our culture is completely different. They marry like cousins. They marry people that they familiar with. They don't marry strangers. Mm-hmm. And that's somebody that they grew up with. They know them, so they like them. So when the parents say, "Do you want to marry so and so?" They agree to it because it's like I, I already know this person. I'm familiar with them. I know what they like. I, and, and that that's that's one of their things. Here in America, you think you marry my cousin, bro? You trying to get beat up? Or <laughs> stop that one. But they marry people that they familiar with. And the sad reality, this is reality. It's like, man, I'm not marrying her. She, she, she slept with too many dudes. <laughs> and she's been married too many times. I don't want her. 